Hey y'all. Today for surfacing, I have this Miyako 16 inch pedestal fan. This belongs to my senior in college, and they said that um, every time this fan is turned on, it makes a strange rubbing sound and it won't spin at all. So my theory is that either the uh, bearings are locked up or the shaft itself is worn. So let's actually turn it on. It is already plugged in and see what happens. This is bit number one. Nothing. Actually, the police are moving slightly. Hmm, cannot hit my finger in. Let's try speed number. Oh, there it went. All right, so let's try speed number three. Okay, so there's the sound. All right, so let's get this fan opened up and see what's actually wrong with it. All right, so the grill wasn't that hard to remove. It was held in by clips that are actually installed on the rear grill, which is unusual. Speaking of unusual, let's, uh, I forgot to mention that I've personally never seen another fan like this. This is the first time um, I see this Miyako fan. I don't know how old this is, but if I had to guess by the amount of yellowing, and that grill badge right there. I would say that this came from the 90s or the early 2000s. Anyways, so the uh, fan itself is not seized up. But if, you, if I turn it on, look at that, how dumb I was. Got to plug it in. All right. Okay, so as I was saying, this fan is not seized up. And if I turn it on, it works. But it makes this. Oh, and it is oscillating. Hang on. It's not okay. making that sound. Okay, this is interesting. So, can I do this one handed? Yeah. Actually, looking at the plate, this plate looks a lot like the clear plates that uh, Miyako uh, last used in the, I don't know, like two or three years ago. Um, it had the same overall shape, but with transparent plastic. So. Uh, let's check the motor actually because that's the main problem it's not terribly seized up let's check if it has any play on it I don't think you can see it on the camera but it has a tiny tiny bit of play and it is stiff so what I'm going to try to do is open this motor up and lubricate it and clean it see if it actually uh, fixes the problem. All right, I got my camera on the uh, tripod, so let's start disassembling. I have not held a pedestal fan in a long time, but I still remember how to, oops, open one of these up. Even though the last time I assembled one was like ages ago. <laughs> Right, so this has those stupid clip thingies holding the rear plastic cover on, which I thought was a uh, recent invention by manufacturers trying to cheap out, but no, actually, um, <laughs> this seemingly 20 year old fan has the same stupid method of fastening the uh, plastic motor cover on. So before I get going, out of curiosity, I want to drop a couple of drops of 
oil on the shaft near the bushing to see if it helps it go better. Okay, push it in and out, and there you go. It just freed itself. Okay, so um, I'm still going to tear this motor apart, but out of curiosity, let's turn it on again with the blades on, see how it performs. Alright, let's try speed number one. And it starts, albeit in a, a rather low torque, but it seems normal. Yeah. It seems about normal. Speed number two. Hmm. Hi. I still have a feeling that the motor is struggling a little bit. So let's actually open this up and lubricate both the bushings. Okay, so I got the motor taken apart. Well, not the motor, the covers. And if you're curious to see how to take one of these stupid clip-on covers off, you can see my Tips Harirabu video. Um, I have an explanation, uh, an explanation already in there. So, as you can see, this motor here is quite dusty. But not so much that. Oh. Okay, so I take that. <laughs> I take that back. Um, I'm not sure if this thing has ever been cleaned. And hang on. Okay, so this is interesting. You recognize this? Media. So, wow. This was actually made by Medea. That's interesting. So that will explain this rear cover here that actually shares its design with SMC, um, Super, etc. So that's really cool. So um, before I continue, what I'm going to do is dust this motor off so that I won't dirty up my hands or my work area so be back in a bit all right so I have the motor all free of dust well not all but mostly and one worrying thing I noticed while cleaning you might be able to see it right now is that the wires here have been rubbing on this motor shell from all the oscillating and it is starting to uh, where the protective sleeve right here so the wires are inside this white sleeve thing as you can see here and it's starting to rub out so I'll have to figure something out to stop this from uh, continuing anyways okay so I have proven that the shaft here hasn't actually got that much play in it side to side it still has the up and down play but not the side to side so this should be a pretty easy repair I just need to um, oil up the bushings and uh, fill up the reserve by um, injecting oil into the wicking material um, around the bushing so let's open the motor up by first removing this oscillator arm so that the rear motor shell can come out without any obstructions. There we go, and I'm going to put the screw back in so that I don't lose it. Because um, I tend to lose things and I've actually started doing this, uh, putting back screws temporarily on things I am, I am taking apart so that I don't lose them. Now, how hard are these more screws to be taken out? Let's see, because... No, not that hard. 
usually these motor screws are pretty hard to take apart but it's not the case here which is good flip this whole contraption off so that I can access the other side and it's not in the frame so <clears throat> I don't think that the, uh, the capacitor has any issues, so I won't be replacing that because um, just as you saw earlier with that bit of oil, this fan started operating rather normally, so okay, let's carefully separate this. Nice. It's not coming off. Okay. Is it just yeah, it's just stuck. Right. Come out. I feel like I'm snapping something. Hmm. I hope I don't break the motor leads. Oh. It's the zip tie. <laughs> you see how yellow this thing is and how brittle. It is. It's just that zip tie. So pull the shaft forward, and uh, here we go. Okay, so this is rather scary, and it's not in the frame. Oh boy. Okay. That's interesting. What is okay, so my phone just ran out of storage, so I had to uh, delete a few files so that I can continue filming. Uh, so in that moment, I have seemed to figure out what this is. So this uh, rear motor shell here goes on like this, and supposedly this is uh, to isolate all these connections here, because if you see here, the connections on this motor here, the wires to the motor, is rather interesting. Um, usually you'll find like a slug of a lot of wires um, somewhere on the motor, uh, isolated with um, sleeves or something. But no, in here is uh, individual taps. And the thermal fuse is right here. So that's unusual. Okay, so um, we're here for the pushing. So, here's the rear pushing, and um, if I feel around here, there are a bit of, there are a few like sticky residue, which suggests um, dried up, dried up oil. So what I'm going to do is flood this wicking material with oil. Put some oil on the shaft as well, on the rear bushing, and let's see if I can take this off. <clears throat> it's actually quite stuck. Come out. There we go. Okay, and this is. Hmm. Right. So from here I can access the front bushing, like that, and I need to flood the making material also in here, Just push the shaft back forward, and look at that, it's already spinning much more freely. And you can also see that sticky residue I was talking about, it's that black stuff you're seeing here. So let's clean that. Alright, so as Chris Fix would say, use soapy water. I'm using soapy alcohol. Because I find this stuff working a lot more than soapy water. So I'm going to spray this on here. 
um, getting it on the floor is optional and wipe is clean. Hmm, there isn't much difference but it's definitely looking a lot more shiny than it did. Can you see that? Hmm, the sleeve here is... Oh, it's actually rubber. I thought this was plastic. Okay, that's quite a discovery, fixing this fan. Mm, okay, so now comes the rather difficult part of getting this back in because the isolators on this motor here, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but they are falling apart. <laughs> they are crumbling as I'm touching them. So this goes in like this. I need to get this video done quickly before my phone runs out of storage again. I hope it won't. Okay, that's in. I'm not sure where the uh, broken zip tie came from, so... I think it came from here, so... I'll get another one. Hang on. Alright, so I got a few zip ties here. Um, more than enough for me to zip this thermal fuse back in and tidy up this wiring here so that it won't rub on the motor shell. Okay, so I have to be extra careful here. Okay, that's good. And I need a cutting tool, which I have here. I hope this won't uh, smash up the windings. Let's go at it like this. No, it won't work. Hang on. Right, I got my chrome sewing scissors that I'm going to use with my dirty hands to cut this zip tie. Right, that's good. Before I put this rear cover back on, I need to lubricate the shaft for extra measure and gently bring this back in, which is a bit tricky. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to break something. I hope I won't. Come on. There we go. Right. And let's screw the motor back together. I'm still fascinated by this Medea capacitor here. I honestly did not expect to see something like this on this fan. So, <laughs> actually as it turns out, not only that, um, it's not only the Americans that have Medea made um, electronics back in the day. We Indonesians have two. Why? Screw that side of the motor. Let's screw the oscillator arm in. I haven't watched that many um, uh, surfacing videos from uh, North American content creators. I know um, several uh, <coughs> fellow fan enthusiasts from North America have made plenty, but I'm curious whether. Um, the SMC made or Medea made rather fans that you guys have have the same uh, have the same motor uh, structure as this one has. I vaguely remember that um, SMC and Super fans have this goldish color motor, but I'm not sure whether. Uh, they share the same um, oscillator shape, the same motor vents, 
um, and everything else. Okay, so that's a mistake. Okay, <laughs> um, I have accidentally routed the wires here up and over the shafts instead of around here. Right? Okay, I'm fixing this off camera. I don't want my phone to run out of memory. Okay, so in the time it took me to fix the wiring root problem that I made myself, I have also fixed the rubbing out problem of the lead wire here by using this clip thing that usually comes with fans, um, screwing it on the uh, uh, mortar bolts, basically. And as you can see, it clears everything else on here. And actually, let's prove it um, by turning this on. It's already oscillating. And yes, this is upside down, but as you can see, the wires are not rubbing anything. It doesn't hit the oscillator arm, it doesn't hit the motor shell. Which should make this fan last a lot longer than, uh, a lot longer basically. And as you saw, the bushings are quite free. Um, I have not actually tapped the shaft to um, align the, align both bushings, so let's do that quickly. Right, so that's good. Um, these parts here are quite dirty, so I should clean this first. Um, <laughs> I should have cleaned it while I was dusting the motor, but never mind. So I'll be back in a bit. Alright, so in order to not waste any more of your time and my phone's memory, I have put this fan all back together and I have placed it on a stand that I borrowed from my must be on pedestal fan. So let's turn this fan on and see how it works. Speed number one and it starts. I'm actually thankful to have received this fan for surfacing because, um, spoiler alert, I have a brand new, uh, admittedly faulty, uh, Miyako 16 inch pedestal fan coming for a surfacing video. Um, I purchased that fan online and it's currently shipping, uh, in shipping. Um, and the seller says that it's, um, it doesn't spin that fast. It doesn't generate much air. So it'll be interesting to compare that fan to this, uh, version that is, um, I would say it's at least 20 years older so the performance is pretty good it is moving a nice gentle breeze and noise wise it is relatively quiet Actually, let's show you the blade pitch. For a fan made in the uh, 2000s, it's alright. It's not anything impressive, certainly won't beat out uh, Matsushita fans made in the same era. But in the lens of modern fans, this thing is quite impressive. The airflow coming out from this fan is actually quite nice. It's pretty soft, uh, a pretty soft breeze. Anyways, let's switch it to medium. Decent jump between the speeds. Starting to get a bit more noisy, but it's also moving a lot more air. And 
I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but this badge is starting to deteriorate. Even so, it is still reflective. You can see me in the uh, <laughs> reflection there. Still pretty quiet. Let's try high speed. That's a pretty good jump between medium and high. This actually is a pretty nice fan. Performance and noise level wise, it is pretty similar to um, the Maspion stand fan where um, this stand came from. But looks wise, I think I prefer the Maspion's um, swoopy grill because this radial grill is pretty boring. But the color seam is actually pretty interesting on this one. Um, <laughs> If the uh, the base or not the base, the uh, switch panel were still uh, white and not yellowed this badly, I'm sure it would have looked um, a lot better. But in the performance department, I believe it is quite similar. Let's try the oscillation. That I did not expect. <laughs> Alright, so the knob wasn't pushed in all the way. So it's not anything fatal. There it goes. Right, let's shut this fan down and see how long the spin turn time is. Now that's what I call a massive improvement. That's great. Okay, so this fan should be able to serve its owner for many years to come. Um, sadly, I believe there used to be a light here, and the light has died. Um, the owner of this fan has not specifically requested me to fix that light. So, um, this fan is going back as is. So, <laughs> don't know what else to say, but thank you for watching, and as always, take care.